Okay, so again, sorry for the poor quality. Um, okay, so I have my, um, here, let me see, put this up for here. Actually, no. I have my torso length um, pad in the back here. And I wasn't sure if it was going to fit. Um, before I ordered the Gorilla, I ordered the Mariposa from Gossamer Gear instead. And this um, pad fit perfectly in the back of um, that one. Um, it, this one also fits in here um, quite well. Um, I had to squish it in a little bit more than I did with the Mariposa. But it still works really well. The only con of having this pad back here so far that I know of is it does take the weight farther away from my back and um, as you guys all know um, it helps to keep the weight um, towards your back, towards your center of gravity. I have the medium belt um, and I found that's perfect for me. Without this pad, if I cinch it to its smallest, it fits me um, um, perfectly, but I have to cinch it to the smallest. And with this pretty big pad, um, it still fits me perfectly. It um, still covers um, my um, hip bone, um, and that padding protects it. So I'm happy with that size. Um, one thing I was looking for for a long time was a bottle that, a collapsible bottle that would fit my SteriPen. And this vapor bottle fits it perfectly. Um, I can put my SteriPen right in here and it works. Um, and it's exactly one liter. Um, the SteriPen will either do a half a liter or one liter depending on which button you push. And all I do is I just stick it in there. I can't twirl it around. If I twirl it around, it doesn't tend to work. Um, but if I just leave it there, it works and it works good. And another thing is I have to fill it to the very tip top um, for it to work. It's really lightweight. I have two more of these one liter bottles in my pack I can show you that are collapsed. Um, and it has this nice little clip at the top that um, I can carry if I'm going down to collect water and coming back up. I can um, hold it like this. Um, I can clip it to my bag if I'm a little worried about it falling out. Um, what I found that I really like is when I'm reaching back to pull out my water bottle, I can easily grab this and pull it out. And then I can just hold it like this and push it back in. Um, yes. And okay, let me take more stuff out. What also I have in here is. Oh, I have one of my True Lemon packets. Those are really nice. I uh, found about those after reading some um, PCT um, bloggers. Um, it is good. Um, it adds a little lemon taste to your water. Um, it's not very strong. Um, you would have to use a lot of them to get a lot of flavor. But if you just want water with a little hint of lemon, those are great. I also have my mosquito head net, um, and I learned from um, Mike Cleland, um, who's written an amazing um, ultralight backpacking book, and he has several videos on YouTube. He talks about the many uses of one of these. I plan on using it as a pre-water uh, filter 
um, to help the water out, take out any little sediment and stuff like that. So that's why I have it in with my water and, and well, easy access. And also I can get it um, out easily if there's mosquitoes, but it is September here in um, Oregon, so I don't think I'm gonna be running into that. Um, my other side of the bag, I have my alcohol bottle. One second. Oops, Oops sorry. I have my um, alcohol bottle. It's a platypus, and I put my math on there. This is enough alcohol for me for three days. I'm using probably way too much um, alcohol, but I am all my meals, and I'm having three meals a day uh, that are dehydrated. Um, so I decided it was worth the wait for me, and I also have all these dehydrated meals I need to use up before they expire, and um, yeah, I just want to do it that way. Um, but I put my math on here. I needed a total of five ounces a day. Um, so this is for, for three days. And yeah, I put a little reminder in here that I need two ounces for breakfast, one ounce for lunch, and two ounces for dinner. And this is 17 ounces of alcohol in here. And I also have my Sea to Summit titanium spoon in here. This is my favorite spoon to eat out of dehydrated bags with. So this is the one I'm bringing for that. And I also have my measuring alcohol cap up there. And just for a little bit of protection, I have it in a Ziploc bag. And then this is my cook kit. And I got the idea from, again, from Mike Cleland. Now, as I say his name, I'm not sure it's actually Mike Cleland. I hope it is. I don't want to redo this video, even though I know it's not very good quality. Um, so this is my complete cook kit, um, and I have my initial on it, because everyone in my family has a cup like this. Um, this is from my Tokes um, titanium cup, but in here I don't have my Tokes titanium cup. Instead, I have let me see, my... Oops, Snow Peak um, 600 um, milliliter um, cup. And this was very reasonably priced. I think I got it for $16. It's not the insulated one. This one is easier to heat and it's lighter and much cheaper. And this is my own um, DIY lid that I just um, took, cut out a a baking dish and formed it to fit my cup and cut another part of it up and duct taped and super glued to make the lid. Okay, so this is my toothbrush, toothpaste, and backup matches in here. Uh, kind of a silly thing I did, which I don't think is going to work really well. I used um, uh, a travel size Visine um, bottle to put my toothpaste in. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to squeeze everything out of there very successfully. It's the right amount of toothpaste I need because I plan on brushing my teeth three times a day. And it's one of my pleasures when I'm backpacking when I'm feeling yucky is to brush my teeth and it gives me some energy and lets me keep on going. Um, yeah, so I don't think that's the best idea, but I'm doing it this time. Um, yeah, and I haven't measured I mean, I haven't weighed it and compared it to a, a normal, regular small toothpaste thing and see how much it weighs. Um, Mike Cleland suggests doing drying it, um, your toothpaste, and just chewing on a little piece of dried piece of toothpaste, but that doesn't appeal to me right now, but maybe in the future it will. Um, also from Mike Cleland, stole this idea. Well, this, everything in here, basically. Um, this is a fancy feast alcohol stove that I did. Um, really easy to make. That's going to be my stove. This is from my um, is it MSR? Yeah, MSR um, um, Titan pot. I 
borrowed it from this and I'm going to use this to help um, protect myself from burning myself. Um, I was, I have tested this and I definitely like this. I'm fantasizing about getting a Caldera 600 milliliter stove. It's a brand new one they have. Um, I think that would be really awesome and I have their pot that comes with it, has a handle which would be really nice, that's insulated. And then you can also get a pot cozy from it for from anti-gravity gear. And with the Caldera system, you can also um, burn wood with it um, or sticks or whatever. And I also have these special um, dehydrated bags that I cook with that can be used as full fuel too. So that's part of my fantasy to try that. This is... A little piece of uh, disposable uh, microcloth, um, the kind you get in the cleaning department. Um, it's super, super light. Um, um, but so I, I keep it in here to clean my pot and to just prevent some of the rattling. Um, uh, hopefully it works really good. It's super cheap. And again, I cut this from a, a really big piece and I have a ton of it, um, so. Um, and then I have my um, aluminum screen in here. Um, Mike Cleland talks about how to set this up. I'll just, if you haven't watched that, I would refer you to his videos. Um, he does it wonderfully. Yeah, and this cup keeps it, I mean, this um, orange insulating thing keeps it wonderfully insulated when I'm drinking my coffee or tea or having my oatmeal in it keeps it ni really nice and warm. I can hold it in my hands without burning. So as soon as it comes from the stove, I put it in here.